So now we're on the driver hand side of the baiter. There's still a few uh, net components over here we want to kind of look at, kind of tell you what they do. Um, got a motor here that's yeah. turning your neural shaft, it's turning your neural shaft. So basically that's working off you know, how many layers of net you're wanting to put on, that kind of thing. This is actually reading how many feet of net you're putting off. So if you're having an issue with the monitors not showing you the net feeding, but it is, um, this sensor could be out of adjustment. Um, just needs to be riding pretty close to one of these cog wheels. It's just running circles and counting the, the cogs. Um, this spring here is basically what's pulling the knife down to cut the net and then and collapsing that cylinder on the net knife on the other side. So if you if your tractor's got a bunch of back pressure or something not letting it not letting it collapse fully, it could be this spring's weak. Um, uh, so that's another area to check on your your net system. Make sure this spring has got enough tension. We have at times tried, uh, there's a spring up on the tailgate. Um, you can swap the two out, it's a shorter spring. See if that fixes your problem, if that does. Again, you can call ACI or your local McHale dealer. You've got a parts manual in the passenger hand side door that'll tell you the part number. We can get you the part. Um, then we'll kind of go over some springs um, and uh, chain, chain tension. Um, this is your main drive chain. It's tensioned by this spring here. Tight and loosen right here on this, this system here. Um, you got another spring here that's running tension on this chain going down your bottom rollers and it's got an adjustment right here and this basically this washer needs to be flush with the this the bottom of this cylinder for the proper tightness but again you can kind of reach in there too and kind of tell again you don't want them super tight but you don't want them loose either um, surely the only two chain adjustment places on this side is here and here um, Going to the chains that are running the auto oiler, this oiler is running off a PTO shaft. So as the PTO is turning, there's a shaft back here that's turning the or turning the pump back behind here. Um, it's just so this is a little German pump. We're running standard 80, 90 weight barred chain oil, just regular chainsaw bar oil. Um, again, just make sure this is clean before you take your cap off and start filling oil. It does have a screen in there to kind of filter out some of the trash, but you just don't want a lot of trash getting in that system. Um, it's got a fill mark here. That'll usually go for about 300 bales or so. It's, it's, it's what it's set at in the monitor. Um, if you notice you're running out of oil quicker or you notice some chains getting more oil than the others, take your cap off the top and you'll notice you've got uh, cams in here, cam bolts with uh, each one of them has a color on it and then on the outside where your hoses come in they're all color coded with a just a basic zip tie and a number. You can trace back that number to what chain it's going to so this chain here looks like it's getting a good bit of oil. If I wanted to come in here and, and uh, decrease the amount of oil I'd find the number that matched this chain back to the pump and then to the color and just loosen off that nut a little bit. And it doesn't take much, maybe a turn, turn and a half, and you'll make a big difference. Cause that's just rolling on a cam, pumping up and down. So if you want to increase oil, tighten it down so it cams more. Um, very simple little pump. Back to this side here, we, we went over the other side. You got one chain for your pickup. On this side, we have two. Uh, again, one for the pickup, and then here's running off a pin clutch. There's a roll pin clutch behind this this housing. Uh, it's just uh, you take these. You got three here, one here. All this will come off. You have to raise this up out of the way. So just unpin it. We got a razor pickup up. But you basically flip that up out of the way, and you can get everything out of the way, so you can get these shields off. Um, roll pin clutch does not need to be greased very often. Um, we tell guys maybe once once twice a year uh, if you over grease a pin clutch it uh, it'll cause it to start slipping you'll notice it does have a hole back here for greasing but you can't get to the alamite because the pin it's on the pin clutch so it's moving around and around but uh, there's one behind it. yep there's one behind it so um, so camp uh, you got five cam bearings on this machine they're all on this side been telling everybody you know check them at Depend on your conditions, but you know, 7,000, 8,000 bales, maybe check them before that. 
Um, they're easy to get to. Pull a couple shields off, you can get in there and look at them. But uh, we just recommend changing your cam bearings before they go out, so then you're not changing cam tracks. So there's only five on the baiter, they're all on this side. Um, take you half an hour to change them.